You're probably wondering what Fibonacci looks like. I was, yes, right from the start. Here it is, it's boring. This is the first 200 terms, and they go along and, you know, they get pretty big. When we do these plots in the OAS, the first plot is 200 terms, as is. The second plot would automatically take logs if the numbers were getting big. And you can see they're getting really big very quickly. So the thing about the Fibonacci numbers, as you know, f of n, it's an integer, but you get it almost exactly by taking the golden ratio, raising it to the nth power, and dividing by root 5. That number is very, very close to an integer. So if you round that, that'll be something that ends in 0. 0.0001 or 0.9999. If you round it to the nearest integer, you get the Fibonacci numbers exactly. And our plotter, when we plot it, will automatically know enough to take logs. And so what the second plot here shows you is log of f of n, which is n times log phi plus minus log root 5, something tiny. And it's a straight line of slope log phi. So it's boring. It's a dead straight line. The first time I did this, I tested the plot on this sequence, and it was a dead straight line except for one dot that was way off the line. And that's because there was a mistake in one of the large Fibonacci numbers, which I corrected. So that's boring. Let me show you something which is not boring as a graph. Please. Graphs, graphs, tomato, graphs, tomato. Graphs, potato, potato. The parallelogram ends when we get to a prime which is just under a power of 2. The next one is bigger than a power of 2 and it starts another parallelogram.